Okay, we're just going to talk about the bayer Veliga reaction here, where basically you take a, a ketone and you oxidize it to an ester using a per acid, such as MCPBA. So I'll just write the name of this up here. This is bayer Veliga. Bayer. Oops. Bayer-Veliga reaction, oxidation. I'll put that in brackets, That's, that means oxidation. So let's have a look at the mechanism. I'm going to use an example here because I think it's useful to illustrate the uh, what's called the migratory aptitude of the alkyl groups. So if I take um, a benzyl group, so I'll just write it as pH CH2 ketone and I'll call that CH3. In this particular uh, reaction with MCPBA, and I'll explain what that is in a second, we should find the product from that oxidation is this. And that's, sorry, that's CH3 there. Okay, so the group that's migrated has been the benzyl group. And the reason the benzyl group has migrated is because um, the benzyl group is more uh, electron rich. Okay, so let's just move that down a bit. Let's have a look at the mechanism for this process. So MCPBA is a per acid, and what do I mean by that? Well, I'll draw this in blue. It's not too different. So it's carboxylic acid. With an extra oxygen. Like that. And what that means, what that does, oh sorry, it's meta, so it's metachloro. So meta chloro M C per benzoic acid. Okay, and that's MCPBA. And what that does is it makes this oxygen here slightly delta positive. Okay, because the electrons are being withdrawn into the and that's if you look at the resonance structure of that that oxygen donates electrons like that. So that makes that delta positive. So it tends to drag electron density towards itself, making this oxygen electro electron deficient. So that can now be attacked by um, some uh, uh, nucleophilic type species. So we take our um, starting material here if I draw it like this, pH, CH3, oh, CH3, okay, and we draw the arrows, I'll just delete those old arrows, so just get rid of that, there we just for the resonance structure. Oops. Now if I, if we have a look at the reaction mechanism for this, we'll find that once once this has been protonated, so I'll put it in its protonated form. It doesn't have to be a proton, this could be a Lewis uh, base here. A Lewis acid, sorry. So, so long as this has got some um, electron withdrawing substituent on it, dragging that electron density away from here. And what happens now is this picks up this proton here. This comes in here. These migrate 
onto here, it picks up that delta positive oxygen and these electrons go back in here. So the result of that reaction is you get carboxylic acid back from MCPBA. So you now get OH. I've just spun that around so that's OH and this becomes a carbonyl. I've just spun that around. Plus our product oxygen inserted still delta positive this will be coming on and off on and off but basically we now have an ester instead of a ketone so the reason we got that product sorry it's a CH3 that the reason we got that product and not the oxygen going in there is because there is um, what's called migratory aptitude migratory aptitude which basically means uh, more electron rich species tend to migrate rather than electron deficient species so that's another way of thinking about that is the, uh, the species is capable of stabilizing the positive charge um, it's the same kind of thing really so in this case we had a, a phena a benzyl group which could easily stabilize a positive charge here because the electrons can come out of the phenyl ring so if we look at um, we'll have things like t-butyl will be better than a, a isopropyl which will be better than a CH3 say and that's because we have a tertiary carbon versus a secondary carbon versus a primary carbon okay that's migrating and that's migratory aptitude and that was really governs how um, uh, how you get certain products in the Bay of Village reaction so that is the Bay of Village oxidation